everybody. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Anisha Webb Mazinu. She holds a Master of Public Health and a PhD. She's really very clever and she knows her stuff. Dr. Mazinu is a very committed professional with diverse experience in public health policy, planning and practice, as well as a passion for implementation research. She has spent nearly 12 years working in health system strengthening and program implementation focused on integrating TB and HIV care in primary health care in multiple settings across sub-Saharan Africa. Dr. Mazinu is currently head of the Department of District Health Systems at the Foundation for Professional Development in South Africa, where she leads efforts to improve district health governance and management performance in UNICEF-supported districts in Kenya, Malawi, Tanzania, and Uganda. Dr. Mazinu has produced manuscripts that are published or in press in peer-reviewed journals in the field of public health and health policy research. She has also presented her research at international conferences. Dr. Mazinho, thank you for joining us today. Please tell me what is the importance of epidemiology? Oh, thank you for having me today. Um, and I like talking about epidemiology because I feel like it's something that is a mystery to people, but it's something that we really use in day-to-day um, -day life. And so epidemiology really is just the method uh, used to find the causes of health outcomes and diseases in populations. So think about like imagining that a patient is sick and you're trying to find out why. Uh, but then imagine that your patient is actually an entire group of people. So really, when you think about the objective of epidemiology, you're thinking about how do we figure out what is causing different health outcomes in different groups of people? And these groups can be the small, like a community or a neighborhood, or as large as a global population, as we've seen with COVID. And so what epidemiologists do is they look at the symptoms, the patterns, um, and other factors, and they use data to figure out how to solve epidemics and prevent future ones. So in a nutshell, I think that's the importance of epidemiology and sort of a, a bit of an introduction to it. Thank you. That is very interesting. So please tell us a bit more about the uses of epidemiology. The uses. So there's there's really many ways that epidemiology is used. And it's, as I said before, it's really used to save lives, um, improve like global and long term health. Uh, excuse me, health. Um, and really the, the, I would say the aims, um, I would say the aims of epidemiology are to prevent and reverse uh, negative health outcomes. So it's really useful for communities that are experiencing a lot of poverty or instability or a lot of illness. Uh, researchers are able to come in and use what we call the five W's, who, what, when, where, and how, to try to really answer this question of who is getting sick, why they're getting sick, and how we can prevent it. So if you think about like the who, you know, researchers, epidemiologists, um, they're trying to figure out who is affected by a, a disease. Is it an entire country? Is it just a single, you know, community? Or, you know, is it outside of, of a country? And, and you're thinking about who are the people that are involved? And then you think about the what. Um, what exactly is impacting the community? Like, is it infectious disease? Is it something in the water? It is non, it, it could be non-infectious, like cancer or diabetes. Um, and you're really looking to define the problem and figure out how to solve it. And so as we move from what we get to the when, and epidemiologists are really consumed with when exactly the event started occurring. And sometimes it's looking for when did people start showing symptoms or, or trying to figure it down to when did the pattern start emerging so that people were noticing. 
And then the question of where is always about where did it start? And epidemiologists like to call themselves detectives, disease detectives, um, looking to track, you know, how far the disease is spread and where did it start? And then the why. And I think that's really the backbone of epidemiology, figuring out like why did this you know, disease happen or why did an event take place? And some of the things that uh, in answering the why question is really getting into what we call the central theme of epidemiology, which is you have to pursue, uh, you have to really get into the surveillance of the data um, to figure out how to, how do you then um, propose uh, recommendations that would help the disease to either stop or to not spread further. So in a nutshell, how would you say epidemiology is relevant in today's society? Well, I, I think we can see uh, what's happened in the, you know, with the COVID-19 pandemic, that the relevance is really that epidemiology is crucial. It's essential to fighting the disease. And the dis in the study of how really diseases are spread and why, I think has been the biggest, you know, sort of question and struggle as we try to contain the COVID-19 pandemic. And so, you know, epidemiology, epidemiological uh, methods um, and the analysis of data uh, really have helped us to drive policy decisions all over the world. And many of these decisions required lockdown, you know, um, imposing quarantine, social distancing, mask wearing. Um, those things are all commonplace because epidemiologists had studied the progression of the disease and were studying how to stop it. And I think for anyone, you know, in the last couple of years, uh, they know how important then epidemiology is then in our current our current society. My last question, what would you say is the impact of epidemiology in healthcare? I would say the impact is really um, helping us to understand where diseases are coming from in populations um, and who is most likely to be impacted by it so that we can gather that information uh, to control the, the spread of diseases and prevent future outbreaks and uh, a future disease. I think that's why it's so important uh, for not only probably for healthcare, but for you know people in general to really you know get an understanding on where uh, diseases come from and how to how to really um, stop them in their tracks. Dr. Mazinu, thank you for joining us and thank you for explaining what epidemiology is, how it is used, and how it affects all of us. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.